with this all the time. Back to the Future Part 2 day. It was pretty much over and done with a couple days ago. And I'm really late with this. I know. But it's me we're talking about here. I'm usually am late with stuff. So let's start with this. Everything Wrong with Back to the Future Part 2 by Cinema Synth. Let's start this shit. <laughs> Sure, but who what the are fuck you? Are you? Also, does this movie recognizing that Marty's trip back to 1955 would have changed a hell of a lot more lives than just a handful? Because Jennifer Parker turned into Elizabeth Shue. You're acting like you're acting and Elizabeth, Elizabeth Shue is sexy as fuck ever. Now, what happens to us in the future? What do we become assholes or something? Uh, Since this is a reshoot of the first movie, no, the not going there. they need Doc to react to this famous quote. Indicate, damn it. Hey, Doc, you better back up. We don't have enough fraud to get up to 88. Part one's mistake becomes part two's mistake. I could get up to 88 in a Prius with that much road. Why is Jennifer so willing to immediately hop into the DeLorean without one question asked? What the hell is going on here? Only Biff in the entire neighborhood sees this. Yeah, I know. I was wondering about that. Hey, that's the day of this video's launch. <laughs> what a coincidence. Hang on. What? It's not a coincidence? Wow. Why wasn't I told about this? 2015? Future. Did they film Michael J. Fox's first table read into this movie? Just a sleep and loose off a rhythm generator. She was asking too many questions. And Maybe you shouldn't have ridiculously crashed into Marty's driveway and allowed her in the car in the first place. Hell, you didn't seem to think it was a big deal when you told Marty bring her along. Also, and this is not an original point by any means, but why do they have to go to the future to change things when Doc could simply tell Marty in 1985 how things are and to avoid making bad decisions? It technically he kidnapped him, so I had to do something. he's missing for all these years. So there is no son in the future. You didn't think this through, did you? Screen right, I mean, Doc. Wow, Marty somehow produced a child with Jennifer that contained none of her DNA. Cubs sweep the series in five? Did they think the World Series would be nine games by the time 2015 rolled around? Hey, what, what about Jennifer? We're not just gonna leave her here. Actually, you are, and it turns out exactly as such a bad idea should turn out. Apparently, Jaws 19 will be directed by Max Spielberg, Stephen's son. This must mean the family <laughs> really? I never noticed that. to take such a whoremongering gig. All I want is a Pepsi. Do you pay for anything in this diner? How did Pussy Biff from 1985 ever get around to procreating? The guy was in his late 40s, definitely with no kids, but for the purposes of the sequel, he manages to find one woman. Well, he was a rapist. You never know. He could have fucked other girls guard. left and, and right. That kid also had a kid. He's Griff. Yeah, something that Doc didn't tell you for some reason when he hatched this half-ass plan. You have to use your hands? Discount baby Frodo. Since when did you become the physical type? Remember when Gremlins 2 came out? It was basically a parody of the first Gremlins? Why did they do that with Back to the Future? What's wrong with Fly? Chicken? <laughs> you know, I've still never seen Gremlins. Begins an incredibly I know, it's killing. Word, but the next two movies will use to advance the plot several times. Thankfully for Marty, Griff's henchmen were watching this fight in a single file line for some reason. Hey, let's do everything we did in the logic. future, only 2015 style, with 1989 knowledge. Need for you. Hoverboard. A skateboarder gains momentum and propulsion because his foot hits the ground and pushes off, not because he waves it about behind him in the air. So why does it help these f***ing things go faster? Wow, this ex machina the Jeep is the gift that keeps on getting. Keep me fly, you bojo! <laughs> the first Star Wars gun water! Unless you've got power! Well, it's still hovering, right? Why does it still have power to hover but not move? And a grip is supposed to be not too bright, but this is the third time Marty has fooled him by simply ducking in the last five minutes. Keep it. The Griff clan is a bunch of idiots. That thing clearly flew into the building. You were not a first responder. The Biff clan and the Griff. Whatever, Biff. Here faster than Marty did anyway. Biff's entire family. World Series. This is an intriguing thing that, as of this video's production, can still happen. If it does, feel free to remove 20 sins from this video, because that is one hell of a prediction. Now we know why they just left Jennifer in an alley. So this movie had a completely unnecessary way to have more conflict. Biff managed to be in the perfect random place to not only hear about the time machine, but get his hands on the sports almanac. Movie thinks if he's upside down, we won't notice a discount Crispin Glover. And you know what? Teenage me did not. But Sin me did. So Same here. Why does the I did not realize it was a different person back then. VHS tapes of scenery, blatantly landing in a no-landing zone. You can't risk you running into your older self. But why take the dog? Is it just so the DeLorean will be completely empty when Biff steals it? Because I think it is. Yes, he tells him to go find Jennifer, but since when is that dog a bloodhound? Okay, I want channels 18, 24, 63, 109, 87, and weather channel. Why does he refer to all the other channels by their numbers, but asks specifically for the weather channel? Several things here. Marty ignores Doc's instructions, yet again, and does not stay with the car. Also, he doesn't lock the car or even shut the goddamn door. Does Biff know that he's so there's no crime in the future? Eight miles per hour to time travel. How about working the dashboard so that it knows where to go? In the future, metal will learn to see how the fuck so Griff came back to the exact same time as he gave his younger self the almanac, and then came back to this time. Marty, 
This time wouldn't have happened. Good thing he ignored your orders to stay with the car, since you now need his help. Biff comes back after giving younger Biff the sports almanac, but nothing in this future has changed at all. It should be the nightmare exactly. of the future right now. Biff leaves ridiculous evidence proving he used the time machine so that Doc and Marty can figure out what the hell happened when they go to Bizarro 1985. As we see, Biff went back to November 12, 1955. How do Marty and Doc miss this? Movie logic. <laughs> we are now walk into Lost. After a jet flew by? Did they not have jets in 2015 or any other non-1985 era? I don't remember bars being on these windows. You know, you've never been to the ghetto, have you? girlfriend's house, though. Bars on windows is something that should be black and white, not fuzzy and vague. They don't notice the subdivision graffiti either. Jesus, it takes these two way too long to realize the past has been changed. Wait, why did they leave 1985 in the morning but return to it at night? Why not just go back to the moment you left like every other time in these movies? Marty comes back to a house that is no longer his, but thankfully there's a window left open so he could discover the truth a lot sooner and in more embarrassing fashion. This angry father swings and misses Marty three times in a row, mostly because each swing starts long after Marty has moved. Despite a massive worldwide change due to Biff's gambling success way back in 1958, Michael Jackson still somehow made Thriller and Off the Wall exactly as he did in the normal timeline. Marty is now uh, recognizing all the wrong appearing shit he ignored on the drive flight into town. Marty just happens to find tunnel the house where Prince Did he have tunnel vision? Because of nostalgia. Last week, the school burnt down six years ago. And they didn't build another one? These assholes hate the I know, what the, the fuck? Still angry enough to try and kill him in a drive-by six years after they've been required by anyone to even attend school. That is a serious grudge. Good thing bullets don't go through wood, or else Marty would be dead. Dedicated to Hill Valley's number one citizen. It's at this point that Marty should already be zooming on over to Doc Brown's place to stop him from tearing the time machine apart. Learn the amazing history of the Tannen family, starting with his great-grandfather, Buford Mad Dog Tannen. See, this is the kind of awesome foreshadowing and cohesion you can get when you film sequels simultaneously. Third time's a charm. Lorraine, who was never into Biff, marries him anyway because of something vague about financial troubles or some <laughs> Oh, and to give an emotional reason for Marty to change this future. Ah! No. You're safe and sound now. This whole movie is throwbacks to the last one. Oak Park Cemetery. Marty doesn't believe dun, mother, dun, so he dun. needs to physically see his father's tombstone for proof, which won't actually prove anything more about George being dead than his mother's word. If you really want proof, you gotta dig that shit up, dude. When I learned about your father, I figured you'd come here! So you found out Marty's dad died at the exact same time Marty found out? That's amazing time. I went to the public library to try to make sense out of all the madness. And helpfully, George McFly's murder was front page news, so that you could easily reference and reunite with Marty in a timely fashion. And gave the book to himself at some point in the past. Yeah, but why was he allowed to return to the original timeline while these two got sucked into the yeah, old that, version? that always bugs me. Yeah. Fuck, my mind is killing me. That's it. My brain, the, the brain. million betting on a horse race in 1958. The sports on Sea Biscuit finally won the big one, huh? 1958. It's like 90 pages. Also, it doesn't say anything about Biff winning money in the actual articles. Just a bunch of fake gibberish that I'm sure some temp is hired to write for fake movie newspapers. Nixon to seek fifth term? Somebody's read Watchmen. Crazy old codger with a cane shows up. He says he's my distant relative. I don't see any resemblance. Because you're a Biff dumbass. Has literally zero reason to tell Marty any of this. What the hell is that? That still works. They couldn't match up the bullet that killed your old man. You were firing at him earlier. Now you're monologuing. Good for you, Marty. Biff can still shoot you, right? Also, yeah. Doc know to be around the roof at this time. Not to mention, once again, risking everyone seeing that flying car again. Biff is not leaning far enough over this ledge for this car door to hit it. Unbelievable that old Biff could have chosen that particular date. Not really. Not if you want to bask in the glow of the first movie again. This alternate 1985 will be changed back into the real 1985. Isn't it great you can just time travel your problems away without creating entirely new problems from the time travel? A walkie-talkie so we can keep in contact. When the f*** did you buy those? And how the hell does Marty open that plastic packaging with practically negative effort? Man, I started bleeding when I started opening those things. That's another thing. This was to put it open out right away. Flying DeLorean, and apparently no one saw that. Do you think Biff would have been as careful to hide the car, walk his 78-year-old ass to town to find his younger self? Marty trails Biff at a distance and in a manner that should have resulted in Biff spotting and pummeling him blocks ago. The manure. I remember that. Why wouldn't you remember that? Biff literally tries to lift up Lorraine's skirt on the downtown square in broad daylight, and no one cares but Lorraine. Oh, Aren't there cops around? around that tree remembering the manure incident fondly. Instead of watching the scene no, of the doesn't have any cops. that Marty is in the back of the car. What the fuck is he doing behind that tree anyway? Marty here on the right is somehow not in Biff's peripheral vision. And he's what? I never noticed that before. 15 seconds left of this game, I'd say it's all over for UCLA. Announcer makes the most preposterous statement ever made in a sporting event during the very moment UCLA is actually coming out to kick a field goal that could win the game. Biff absolutely had to look in the back seat to see where this book landed, and yet he totally misses Marty. Wait, does this car have no rear view mirror? Well, that's convenient to the action that needs to take place, right? And now it does have a rear view mirror? Doc! Doc, come here! 
how the hell does Bit not hear this? He's not even really whispering. Marty, you must hell? be extremely careful not to run into your other self. Says the man standing literally in the center of his other self's lightning experiment. Excuse me, sir. Like, it's a Doctor Who moment. 1985 Doc's face and voice, which he knows from watching that damn yeah. video over and over in the last movie. So not noticing his future self here is bullshit. Be a power, have me a 5 8 inch wrench on that toolbox. Why? You are not busy holding something together that you can't get the wrench yourself. Universal Movie plot. this Crispin Glover footage without Movie his permission, which rightfully led to a successful lawsuit and new regulations. There's no reason why Doc and Marty needed to risk anything tonight. It took three years for Vic to win his millions at the horse race, so why not wait till a much better time to get the almanac back? I mean, Jesus. Have you ever seen a movie this f***ing clever? This entire movie is possible because people don't notice goddamn f***ing <laughs> Marty is able to true. take my life so any true. damage to his hand without making any noise. Wouldn't Marty, a.k.a. Calvin Klein, be such a superstar here in 1955 that even in a leather jacket and hat, everyone would know he was the one that sucker punched a down bit and stole his wallet and book. Guys, what's right, 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 right. Blind. He's only He's the one who stole someone's wallet in his arsenal. What happened? It still works. I think he's doing Why underwear did now. Did he come back here? Does he just need more nostalgia? Where is he? Oh, Calvin Klein. So doesn't this mean that Bit doesn't become a pussy after this? He does after one lucky punch from George, but he sees Marty punch him and he's suddenly back to being an asshole? You know what I'd do? I'd go over and tap those guys on the shoulder and then start running again. Besides, even if you get beat up, you have all the time in the world. This is not like the first movie when there was a deadline. These henchmen, who are literally staring at Marty, are unable to see Marty. Hey, look, I know, that's fucking bullshit. busting sandbags all tied together at this one spot. That was very interesting music. What is the deal with the weird new line readings? I mean... Didn't they want to even get close to the originals? Are you chicken? How and why does every adversary Marty encounters know exactly what button to push? Good thing this is one of those chases where only the principal characters are driving down the road at this very moment. Help, teacher. Biff seems to be glad about committing murder, and he doesn't the least bit care that How he is this guy not in jail? damage to his car right there. After this, somehow Marty doesn't even have a black eye or bloody nose or anything. This is the second time in this movie that Doc is ex mocking at Marty from an aggressive Biff via the flying DeLorean. Jesus, what are the odds? Hitting a manure truck mere days after you hit the last one? So is this when he becomes a pussy? Have to be akin to just getting proof of blue. Put in manure twice a day. Not in one match in this in a week. Sword, which is maybe the least believable thing in all three of these movies. Yeah, yeah, no more pleasure palace, but the exact same matchbook? Wouldn't it be cooler if the whole matchbook just disappeared? Same here. Why would he have been honored on that same day? Wouldn't it be cooler if it just told us someone else got murdered? Doc continues flying the time machine in the dangerous lightning storm long after dropping off Marty and for no particular good reason other than setting up the sequel. Now let's go home! Also, you could just wait until tomorrow. I'm just saying, there's no reason to risk anything right now. Why doesn't anyone know this? Here's one of the only sequels ever to actually include a trailer for the third movie as part of the end of this movie. Weird. I think this was the only movie that did that. Valley, although I can't imagine hell being much worse. Yeah. I'm not much of a Chicago Cubs fan or anything with baseball, so I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> oh, adventures in babysitting. Said, uh, Such a cult classic. I'd like to make twenty-five thousand dollars, and I said, "Who wouldn't?" No, don't start the next one. What the fuck? So yeah, that was everything wrong with the Back to the Future Part Two. What am I gonna say? The Back to the Future series. It's a classic, man. There's nothing wrong with it except like the timeline and all that shit. Because some of it is just weird, but. What's even more weird is the Terminator timeline. That's fucked. More fucked than this. But anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye.